Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. So, I'm picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. However, when I booted the game up, the pirate ships, or viking ships, sorry, not pirate ships, that were lurking right here and bugged, uh, they just were gone, and the timer had restarted to nine years. So, yeah, no, I guess the attacks will be forthcoming. Which is fine, we need the Viking attacks, otherwise, eh, game's not quite as entertaining. Alright, so. I can expand out here, but I'm not gonna right this second. We are going to work on these walls. Get all of our people building as quickly as we can. Especially since we are going to want some defenses up as quickly as possible. And to do that, we need stone. Much, much stone. And even though I have nothing going on with this, that's fine. It's not a big deal, simply because, you know... I have nowhere to send our, you know, I don't need those ships at the moment anyway. Alright, so yeah. Someone did mention in the comments that I should try to build a bridge across to this rather than like, uh, rather than do transport ships or an outpost. Unfortunately, I cannot. I cannot build bridges or, uh, what were the other items? I cannot build bridges or piers across deep water you have to use ships so yeah i can't it's completely even though it doesn't look like deep water you know the deep water is supposed to be dark this doesn't look all that dark but apparently it is so yeah there we go i will have to trade with that over here if i take this stone i'll have to do it with ships transporting stuff back and forth Get them walls up, guys. Get them walls up. Dragons. Where are the dragons? Dragons. Come on, guys. There's the big dude. I mean, I haven't really given him much to target outside the walls, so... Jesus. They're really making sure they got their bases covered with the number of dragons, aren't they? I mean, it doesn't help them. But good lord, are they going all out with them. Okay, let's just keep building. Honestly, this is the section I want to build up the most. Uh, simply because it feels like it is the next evolution. Like that, it's like the enemy likes to land over here and come over land and aims like straight for this area. So, yeah, it's not a bad idea to get this built up quickly. So, yeah, we'll be prepared, kind of, for the Vikings. Probably won't be heavily armed, but we will be prepared. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started on the next layer. And I do anticipate large stretches of these walls being destroyed by the next Viking invasion. Just how it works. And I'm thinking I'm going to extend the wall this way out to here. As the next district. Because I don't want a lot of this land to go to waste. I, mean, I guess I could extend to here. And then just build across the shallows. Because I would like the next wall to close off the district right here. Actually seems logical to have it closed off right here. Hmm. We'll have to give that a try. Now, I still need to build a cathedral at some point, but it requires stone, and as you can see, I have other uses for my stone. 
Uh, where are you guys going? Oh, did I, ac I accidentally gave the order to cut down trees over here. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to send you all the way out here to be exposed and potentially murdered. And I am thinking that these next walls here are going to be fairly short. You know, compared to our others, because let's see. Towers are about the same size between this and this, but... Yeah, I feel like our walls as we expand out should technically be getting smaller. There we go. Just do that real quick. Hmm. So, wow, we just lost 32 people to old age. I'd say something might be wrong with our place. Now the question is, do we want to go the same staircase thing or do we want this to be, like, let's see. Our normal wall height over here is a nine. Maybe make that all of our wall heights over here at a nine. And then don't make the towers super tall. And maybe we'll make it an eight and the towers will be a nine. I like that. There we go. We can put three defensive towers here already. Okay, yeah. I just had to double check, make sure that one was actually, you know, already a tower. Like, make sure that was already a nine. All right, defenses. And yeah, I chose this height pure, pure aesthetics. Because I like that there's going to be a difference in size compared to the inner walls, like our true inner walls, and then our even more inner walls. And then, well, sorry, our true inner walls, our first ever real exterior walls. And when these extend out from here, they're going to be about this height. I think this is going to be my standard wall height from here on out. See about getting all this in place. It's gonna take a while, I'm well aware, but doesn't hurt. Especially with the sheer amount of stone we're bringing in. I'm going. There we go. Save up some stone. Okay, you're at eight. That's where I want you to stop. I want you to be a nine. So let me go ahead and tell you to go up again. And we're going to give you an archer tower. Just because I like the symmetry of having the same type on either side of a gate. Seems like archer towers would be the more logical choice around a, you know, a gate as well. Excellent. Should probably build a stone mason around here somewhere though, right? Because we're going to need to keep these walls in good repair. Yeah, I don't really need to see your attack radius, dude. I know what your attack radius is. You've already done shown me. Mason. Now, considering this is kind of in an industrial setup down here, maybe I do this. 
put a mason here and a road like that. That way he's right up against this chunk of the wall. I want to put a mason over here somewhere as well. If it were a bit small, I could fit it right there, couldn't I? Because I'm not fitting anything else right here. I might as well put a mason right there. Because then he can reach all this walled-in area. And it's not, like I said, it's not like there's anything else I could position in this area. And just so he doesn't die if there's a fire. Oh, I can't build a well there. Okay. Makes sense. And yeah, I'll try to put a mason down and probably on this little chunk of land right here. Seems like a good way to handle it. Now I am well aware this wall is not going to be able to withstand as much damage as our previous walls. But that's fine. Yeah, I believe I have a mason up here as well. Yep. Do I have a mason that's any farther south? Because if not, I kind of want one in this area. I could chop some of these trees down. And put one right here. Just to keep my walls in good repair, you know? I am clearing the trees. Chop. And then I will build a road there as soon as you take out that tree. Thank you. That'd be a good place for a gatehouse, too, if I do decide to just head straight out this side. Don't think I will, but you never know. Dragons. The dragons are here again. Oh, I hear you coming. Been waiting for you, Vikings. I really haven't. Where are you going? Ooh, the bad way is where you're going. By that, I mean for me, because... I mean, we are doing a lot of damage to him. I wonder how many of them are going to make it to land. And how many of my walls they might destroy. Look at that devastation, though. Ow! Look. These walls are not cheap. Leave them be. Just you wait. I got dudes that have just been waiting to murder Vikings. I really do, actually. Two, three. Two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Any more Vikings? Any more? Looking for Vikings. Oh, you landed there? And you just made just made a long walk for yourself. Works for me though. Uh ballista? Ballista, and as I was hoping, Ballista over here. Archer? 
and archer. Excellent. And now it's time to, while they're building that, it's time to expand this area. I could really use my defenses over here now. Ooh, that's all the stone I... Uh, I did just build a bunch of stuff over here that required stone, so that's fine. We should have a fairly large chunk of the wall ready the next time the Vikings decide to come this way. I'm hoping this whole stretch, kind of like we were done with that whole stretch, but this has more twists and turns, so I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt we'll get this done. But hey, if it works, it works. That was built pretty quickly. Oh, mother... Go away. Go away. There we go. I am still leaning towards trying to get an outpost built. Because this is a lot of stone over here that I would really, really like. But it's not letting me. And this is a nice chunk of stone. I'm thinking about sending the road out there and just... You know, since we know... We know that anything we build out here is going to be destroyed by Vikings. We know it. But it'd be kind of nice to have access to an extra stone reservoir, reserve, whatever. I also feel like we're going to need to build some more houses real quick. So let's cut through here. Where, oh where, are my quarries? There are my quarries. Yeah, that'll work. Why do I can just build another wall over here that just cuts right above this? It'll still leave small chunks of land outside my walls, but that's fine. Okay, we're going to throw in a well out here. And this stuff, I don't mind if I have to remodel this stuff later. For now, I just kind of need a place to collect more stone. And two more quarries is a great start. And a small stockpile in which I can keep said stone. Granted, this is way out here, and you, you know, imagine it's a hell of a way to walk for work, but it's not too bad. You gotta imagine we want our people to have hazard pay. I would if they tried to get me to live out here. Jesus. It's like, oh yeah, you're right in the path, you know, we're gonna have you build right where you know the vikings like to land i mean you'll be fine we think but hey <laughs> you know we're not positive yet it's kind of just a th working theory at this point you know just to give a little bit of defensive push i might just focus 
I mean, I can I'll build up these side towers eventually, but I think maybe just this straight line right here might be the best place to focus on our walls at the moment. Definitely probably be the quickest and most efficient. It's definitely looking like I'm going to need to invest in more housing. Which I probably will, all the way down through here. Nice. How fast those guys are. I like that in the time it takes them to build all the way across like this, I get enough stone back to start another line. It's very useful. And also I'm stunned that the Vikings don't attack my transport ships. Well, they attack my bridges though. Yeah, these have a fire risk. Probably do something about that. Hmm. I think I will because I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna probably send a reservoir down here. You know what? Let's demolish this. Let's put a reservoir right there. Granted, I don't have the aqueducts to reach it. And that is a lot of stone to take away from my defense project. Not worried about the dragons, honestly. Mainly because I know that dragon's about to get messed up. Take messed up. Well, don't kill him over the ocean. That's food. Okay. As much as I want to build this aqueduct over here, I feel like this wall right here should take precedence because... If the enemy gets past here, and they do, to here, this wall can murder a few more as they go around, but they probably won't do much here. Then this will murder more as they go around, and then when they land here, they have a lot of stuff to trek through. Part of me is really disappointed in myself for building these walls as low as I did, these towers. Uh, simply because it looks like if I had built the towers at their standard height like at the full height they could have for the for a good portion of them the ballista towers at least have defended our little stone area out there but I'm not too worried about this I like how the ballista this ballista pretty much reaches over here granted optimal range was a bit farther That's fine. I'm okay with it. Alright, next layer. Most definitely not going to be done by the time the first Vikings make their presence known, but that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to need more houses, if nothing else, for my archers and ballista crews. see. All 
almost there, I think. And then I can just start laying on this right here just to get it caught up. But the main stretch of wall it is. Seven. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, we only need one more layer. Well, there we go. What the... F no to you. And you, what are you doing? Okay, that should take it to eight. There we go. I mean, since they've already started that, I might as well put this wall in now. What direction, Vikings? Ooh, the bad direction. Yeah, not so much for me. But yeah, I got tons of troops in either direction you may choose to go into, my Viking friends. So let me go ahead and murder your ogres. It's fine, you ain't even miss them. is a bad channel for you guys to try to travel through. You are gonna get sunk. You need to sunk hard, too. Alright. Let's see about this. One, two, three. Three, two, three, not twice. Fire has claimed a quarry. Yep, they landed and took it out. I figured. And for this side, that would actually make more sense to just do that. I mean, I'm going to rebuild these. I mean, I don't know what you think you accomplished. See? How goes it? Dead. <laughs> That's how it goes. See, so make sure they didn't get through any part of my walls. Cause those ballist, uh, their catapults really do kind of hurt. So anyway. All right. We're gonna go ballista. Ballista, ooh. Ballista right in the center. Ballista there. That works. And now archers. There. We now have a nice amount of protection on our seawall, basically. get these people building over here. I think that works. Then we'll do a taller wall right 
there to put a defensive item on. And that will be a ballista. It's going to take him a while to finish that, mind you, but it is going to get done. Manor houses now. I want another one. Thank you. And now the road. The road. There you go. And yeah, this area, like I mentioned before, is going to probably be all food. Should not be too difficult. Okay. Yep, our defenses are in place. So really, it's just this that needs to get done now. Well, then I gotta enclose this area. I don't anticipate this taking very long at all, though. Now that I got this, I'm going to build these aqueducts and just get this area done. There we go. Decent radius for the water. But I'm still going to put another fountain down here. And the hospital. Yeah, nope to you. Or you. Just hear those things going off. Just constant dragon murder. Now. Where, oh where... Still want to put the bathhouse down here somewhere. You know, if I put the bathhouse here, it will provide to that entire housing complex. Hmm. I'll figure that out here in a second, because what I want to do is I want to put in a large fountain. But I think in this case, I would like to put it more... I wonder if I offset it a little bit. Especially the hospitals, it's quite a bit bigger than most of my stuff. Hmm. Maybe instead of a hospital, go with a clinic down here. I'm going to try it, especially since we still don't have a church or a cathedral or anything. I know the cathedral is freaking massive, so I might put it over here. Well, let's wait till we get the 499 gold. Even the cathedral right here, if it'll fit, would be nice. Just clear 500 already. 
Oh. As much as I wanted to put food there. Ooh. That seems like a good spot, too. Hmm. Part of me wants to put it here. Because its radius will extend to pretty much the entire interior. Yeah, I don't like that it's three wide. That'll throw off my pattern dramatically. But this is a very good place for the cathedral. Alright, we're gonna do it. And then, when I get the stone, we need to put in the fountain. Like right here. Let's put it over here first. We know we're gonna need two of them, though. We always do. Come on. 81 stone so I can put the next one down. And let's see, then I need to put in a market. And a tavern. And probably some libraries. I don't have the stone for a while though. My stone keeps getting taken and they run it off to the cathedral. Well, I just need the 81. It's fine. Maybe. I might not get that back till this is done. But yeah, we definitely need to put some food into place. And we need the bathhouse to improve everybody's happiness over here. But I think we'll manage it. Just gotta wait. Okay, there's our fountain. Now I know we need taverns. Fairly badly, actually. The game's been moaning about taverns for a little while now. Where's the market? There. And I do want the market right here. Let's grab our road. There we go. It puts my stuff a little off center, but I can still fit some stuff in here. Hey, Vikings. Wow, you guys, you guys are getting butchered. I love it. Yeah, let's let let's let the Vikings do what the Vikings are gonna do, which at this at this point is die. That's what the Vikings are gonna do. I even joking. Absolute murder. Okay, so I'm going to put another tavern here because we have a few people outside of the radius of a tavern. You're one of them. Holy crap. How can I fix this? You guys are not at all happy about not having a tavern nearby up here. Feels like maybe I should cancel you. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cancel you. And I'm gonna put a tavern. Because with you gone, I can just put a tavern right there. I mean, I could put a garden right here. That raises how much people like this area. Look at that. We managed to save that. Mainly because of the rain. The rain saved that, let's be honest. Now down in these little spaces, I can do a library, library, clinic, clinic. You don't have what I need you to have. So, it's not what I wanted to demolish, but I guess I had to eventually anyway. Build me a reservoir right there, because that'll get some water to this. Nice. See, now the people that'll move into these areas should be fairly happy. You got a tavern. I think you're missing a bathhouse. And you still have access to the library, even if you are at the edges. So that definitely works. Now what do we put in these corners? That would raise morale. Baker? No. Although a baker wouldn't be a bad idea to have down here. Guess I could always put like... Okay, these are big ass statues. Way bigger than I was hoping. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna put a garden over here as well. Multiple dead big dragons. Can't see under cloud cover right there, so... Okay. Excellent. And then now, because all of these are in place... We can do this. They will have all the amenities this place will. However, I'm going to demolish that. I want to keep it, but now that I think about my current placement, that actually is a good place for another tavern. So that'll give us a nice population boost. I am thinking the bathhouse goes right here. So if I put it here, oh, well, technically the whole place is covered if I put it there. All right, that's where the bathhouse goes now. Get to it, guys. Build me a bathhouse. I like that the cathedral's finally in place. Our people have a lot of church access now. The show happiness. Ain't nobody living there. Why are you angry? Wants access to charcoal. Well, there's plenty of charcoal. You just need to send people to buy it. These markets will we'll get you covered eventually, dude. What's your problem? Charcoal. Has none or it's too far away? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that, and it's it's too far away.
but the markets will fix that. And now time for some food. I think I'm going to go with farms here. this windmill 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 hmm It'd be kind of nice if I could build farms all the way down back there but it's not gonna let me but that's fine then now down here, for more food, I want these. Except I'm going to cancel one of those. And I'm going to put a large granary right there. It's right next to the road, it's not right next to the reservoir, and we have all this up here. All these food things right next to it, that should work. Might not be a bad idea to delete the one next to it, too, and put a bakery there. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now I don't know what I'll do with this space. I mean, I guess farms don't need to be next to windmills. That's just where they're most effective. So I could just throw a couple farms right there and just be fine with it. Yeah, no, there will be plenty of food shortly. Again, just wait for it to be delivered to the market, guys. Recent food shortage. It's not going to be a sh food shortage for long. Just give me a minute. We just got to wait for our people to actually start arriving. Like our delivery dudes. Same with the charcoal. Although it does definitely look like our charcoal burners are going to get a little overwhelmed. But I can definitely do that out here. What the f... You're kidding, right? Because I had to rebuild it, it reset. Son of a... Fine. Okay, though. With this, I am all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Kingdoms and Castles, because I think I'm going to put more food here. Since this isn't really a big space to f put more housing and the like, I'll probably put food down here. And then this, I think I will definitely try to find some way to cram housing in here. Just make this a full-on residential district. And with this covering most of the space and this covering most of the space, I think we can do it fairly easily. Either way, we'll see how that goes next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.